breakfastballs.golf here. Now, our man, John Flanderson, who's a blogger on our site, wrote an amazing blog a few weeks ago. We've had a ton of questions about what exactly these balls look like. The blog's on used golf balls, and it goes into the whole umbrella of used golf balls. Because it's not just a used golf ball. We got refinished, refurbished, recycled, XL practice, whatever. Flanderson went into amazing detail. Go to the site, read it, check it out. If not, I'm going to give you a quick overview here. All right? So the first one we have is a refinished golf ball. Now, if you look at this golf ball, looks like a real nice ball, right? Looks great. Everything looks perfect on it. But it says refinished. Now, by law, they have to put on there refinished or refurbished or whatever they've done to change the integrity of this golf ball. So the refinished process, what they do is they take an old golf ball, they blast all the paint, all the clear coat, everything off of it, and then they basically repaint. Sometimes they don't have to blast all of it off. They can just touch up the arrow or uh, the name, the number, so on and so forth. But now if you look at this golf ball closely, can have you figure out what's different? No, nope, I can't. Unless you compare it to a regular golf ball. Do you see the numbers? You see the color? The red is lighter in the refinished one than the authentic Pro V1. All right? That's it. That's what a refinished is. Now we got a refurbished. A refurbished, you're going to have the similar color. Okay? Looks like a really good golf ball. Everything looks great on it, right? But it's going to say refurbished. Refurbished, they actually take the entire cover off at times and put a new cover on it, or they blast all of it off and then stamp the paint on it again so it looks more authentic, but it's still a refurbished golf ball. The, 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 re, the refinished is more painted. Sometimes they actually even hand painted on there. This is stamped. Both of them are clear coated. Both of them are great golf balls. Look at them. In our Eagle quality though, we will never sell a refinished or refurbished golf ball. Our Eagle quality is as close to new as you can ever get. So that golf ball integrity will never be compromised. All right. Now we got an XL ball. Ever heard of an XL ball? Well, you have now. An XL ball is a ball that is perfectly normal within the manufacturer specification. So on this Pro V1, everything looks good. But then the quality insurance team comes in and they find something wrong with the construction. Usually it's a real minute detail that we will never even know. But they know, and that's why Titleist is the best. And that's why these companies are up in the game for each one. This one, they'll stamp X out on it. They'll discount the price, but it is a very, very good golf ball. We will never sell an XL ball in Eagle again because of the fact that they are light new. Similar, we have the practice ball. All right, Pro B1 practice, great golf ball. Now this one, nothing wrong with the integrity of the golf ball. Performance is gonna be identical, but there's some kind of a cosmetic, cosmetic blemish that Titleist team has found. Now, if you look at this thing, a little close, sorry. I mean, I don't, I didn't see it, but I don't know. That's why Titleist Pro V is Titleist Pro V, and that's why they're the number one ball on tour, right? All right, now we got recycled golf balls. You guys ever heard of that term? Recycled golf ball does not exist in the fact of, in the term of recycle. So we think recycle, we think we throw our paper, we throw our plastics, we throw those things in our recycle bins, whatever, they get recycled and turned into paper and plastics. That is not what happens in any golf ball that's out there, okay? So the term recycled is kind of misleading in the sense of what everybody thinks, but nobody does it that way. It's not like they crush all these golf balls and turn them into brand new golf balls. It just doesn't happen. Think about that process. Ooh, I almost dropped this. Think about that process. Just can't happen, okay? But there's some great companies out there that do that are that are green 
and doing everything they can for the environment because when people lose golf balls and if I haven't gone and my team hasn't gone to recover them yet, what are they going to do? They're going to sit in, in the ponds. They're going to sit in the yards. They're going to sit in the, the, the forest, the trees. Like, they're just going to sit there. So what this company is, we love Dixon Golf Ball. Green Earth. Dixon has created the most green golf ball plant facilities and actually ball. So this is made of the most sustainable materials that are out there with still not affecting the performance. We love Dixon. Dixon, great company. But it still isn't a true recycled golf ball in the recycled sense, okay? Dixon, good. Now, lastly, we just have a used golf ball. A used golf ball is a ball that was purchased new, taken out of the sleeve, and hit into the rough or the water and is lost. Someone goes out and recovers it. Myself, breakfast balls, all of us here. Could be us, could be other people. But it's, it's a ball. Do you know that pro players play with used golf balls? No way, no way. Of course they do. As soon as they hit the ball once, their second shot, they're playing a used golf ball. Check this out, look at this. Look at this ball. 2019 version, Pro V1. Look at this. It's perfect. This looks like I just pulled it out of the sleeve. And this is an absolutely used golf ball that was found. Now look, Chubb, ever heard of Chubb before? I never did. They're a really large insurance company. Cool for Chubb. Chubb, we found your ball. We're going to sell it, or maybe we're going to use it, unless you give us a call. Send us an email. We'll send it back to you. Any other questions, let us know. Go out to the site. Check out Flanderson's blog. We'll see you on the next tee.